and another edition of what is in our stand today. If you are new and you've just popped onto my channel somehow, some way, uh, please, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and like the video and share it amongst your friends. Um, I do some pretty significant high dollar bills from time to time. It just depends on customer flow. But also, um, I don't get to record all of them either because sometimes I just got to hurry up and get them built. And believe it or not, even just shooting this quick video, um, sometimes I just don't have the time for it. So I run a one-man shop and it's a high-end boutique. And one of the brands that we carry is a Bianchi XR4. And this is their top of the line aero road frame. There is, uh, this is the rim version. And then there's also a disc version. And um, there, they have other um, aero road frames like the Aria, but it won't come with the countervail. And, uh, and that'll be a little bit easier on the wallet and the budget if you uh, are having trouble with affording this frame, which is in the $4,500 range. We also got the aero bar. Now everything's just tacked on here, so I know that there's pieces missing and I know that there's a gap there. This is just for the quick, a quick video shoot. And um, so uh, we have all the attachments for this and we wrapped up the seat post in a nice paper towel just to keep it from getting any of the grease that comes off of grease and grime that comes off of seat post from dirty service bikes. Okay, we're going to build this up with a Durace group. And the beautiful thing about this frame is that it's a BB92 frame. So I can use a Shimano Durace level uh, press fit bottom bracket as opposed to having to use any type of conversions or any type of adapters or anything like that and um, Shimano bottom brackets are always very very good so this one will last quite a bit I've got a couple in some of my other bikes and whenever possible I try to avoid things that are PF30 and BB30 and BB8 386 and there's just so many options uh, Dura shifters of course to pay to pair up with the Durace derailers and uh, going back to the crank set so we're going to try something different on this bike for this customer we're going to do a 5236 on one of her bikes she has a compact on another bike she has a uh, so the compact is a 5034 and then on another bike she has a 5339 which is a standard crank set so this is in the middle so it's called a mid compact and it's a 5236 uh, this bike has direct mount brakes so that's why these look a little bit different but they are durace so the rear derailleur the front derailleur and a durace cassette with a durace chain and so we'll build this thing up and we will get her on the road pretty quickly so thank you so much for tuning in. I'll try to get some video and some pictures of this bike later. And uh, in the meantime, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you on the road.